Everybody's a suspect. Coming to get you, Barbara. Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first in the Evil Dead franchise movie reviews that I'm doing on the channel. Now I'm not going to make it the, the traditional layout, I'm just going to talk about the movie, tell you what I think of it etc. I'm not going to be structuring it the way I used to structure movie reviews. I felt like I was limited to doing that, like telling you the synopsis, telling you the cast. I'll tell you some bits about it as the, this review goes along, but that's the extent of my movie reviews these days. I just want to make it more natural to you. I'll start with my introduction to this franchise, and it is quite of a weird one because I remember, well, I think I remember seeing this movie when I was a kid, when I was younger, and I think I did see it a couple of times, and if it wasn't that, the first one, it might have been the second one. But I always remembered knowing about Ash, knowing about the Evil Dead, knowing a lot about Army of Darkness growing up, but we'll talk about Army of Darkness when we come to review that one. But I remember buying a magazine back in 1999 called Total Film. It's still running today, I believe, but I don't buy it anymore. It's a mostly a UK magazine. And there was an episode or a, a, an issue that I bought that was... Is, I think it was called Censored or something like that. I've actually still got it, but I've not got it here. It's called Censored, all the banned movies around the world, etc. And one of them was The Evil Dead. And it's not. it wasn't banned at the time of the, the magazine coming out, but it was banned at some point back in the 80s, back in the Video Nasty era, the Margaret Thatcher era in the UK. I remember reading it and going, oh, The Evil Dead, that was banned. I'm sure I've seen that movie. Uh, I've definitely seen Army of Darkness because I loved Army of Darkness at the time. And I thought, okay, I'll need to rewatch that again. If it was banned, it must be really good. That's what I classed as good back in the day. If a movie was banned, it's obviously going to be amazing. And because The Evil Dead was in that category, I decided I need to look this up again because this was banned, which means it's going to be fantastic. So I bought the movie and I watched it expecting it to be amazing. And I was disappointed. When I say I was disappointed, I wasn't disappointed in the overall movie. I still thought it was a good movie. But I was disappointed that I was expecting something totally disturbing. But when it comes to watching banned movies, you take it with a grain of salt or a pinch of salt because most of them were just really banned for silly things. And I can't even remember why they said Evil Dead was banned. But it was anyway and that was it. You know, it had some infamous scenes in it, uh, like the the woods scene where the, the tree attacked and raped the woman. Uh, it's possible that that was the reason it was banned, but it, although that was one of the reasons it was quite infamous, it's iconic for this movie. You know, you, you think of the evil dead, you think of that scene in the woods, you think of the hand coming out of the grave, just like the poster, etc. So it's a, it's a very memorable movie. If you've never seen the evil dead, you know what it is and you know about the the memorable scenes in it. So that's how iconic this movie is. It's a cult classic. Anyone who loved the movie back in the day is probably still going to love it today. I didn't love it back in the day and that's why I can give an honest review of it today. I actually liked the story. The story was simple yet effective. You, know, you can get movies back in the 80s, 90s etc that they've got a really convoluted story behind a really bad film. Whereas this one's the opposite. They've got a very simple story attached to a very good movie, a very well-made movie. Now this was what you would call a micro-budget film. Um, I'll talk about this more in Evil Dead 2 because it's very interesting, but they made a movie called Within the Woods back in 1978. I'm sure you know the story. Sam Raimi made it with Bruce Campbell. Two friends, two college friends just want to make films and that's it. I wouldn't even call it an independent movie. I would call it someone with a, a camcorder shooting for a laugh but they had the knowledge of film and the knowledge of special and practical effects so they made it on a micro micro budget and it helped them launch the budget for the evil dead now the evil dead's budget was a lot bigger but it's still what you would consider a micro budget it probably had less of a budget even today than movies that are made through indiegogo or kickstarter or any of the independent backing websites. That's how low a budget this movie was. But this is when the filmmaking comes into it. You've got Sam Raimi who obviously knows how to make a movie. He just doesn't have 
the equipment to make that movie and we'll talk about that in Evil Dead 2 um, but he had the knowledge, he had the vision to make something extraordinary. Now I, I still believe to this day if Sam Raimi had a hundred million dollars to make the Evil Dead back in 1981 it would probably be still to this day one of the best films ever made because the money he had to make what he made is absolutely astounding. The camera angles that he uses in 1981 is still used today, not just by Sam Raimi, but by other directors. The, the jump scares that he uses are very effective. They're not just in your face, they're a build-up, are still used today as an effective method to give you a jump scare. Most of the angles, most of the things that they do in the 1981 movie is still used today. And that's, this movie is over 40 years old now. So when it comes to filmmaking, even though I don't think the movie is a masterpiece, when it comes to filmmaking, this is how you make a movie. Not just back in 1981, but today. If you make a movie like that today, it would hold up because that's how amazing the filmmaking was in 1981 for Sam Raimi. But when it comes to the story, when it comes to maybe the acting as well, apart from Bruce Campbell, who was really good, when it comes to the acting, the story, etc., I think that's what's maybe dated when it comes to The Evil Dead because you can switch your brain off at times in this film because it's not all out action. You don't get a jump scare every five minutes. It's a build-up suspense movie. And if you're not into that, you could see this movie as a very dated film. I want to go back to the practical effects again, guys, because it's something that's not really acknowledged a lot. You, know, you look at the practical effects in an American werewolf in London, it won an Oscar, and everybody talks about it all the time. Rightless, rightfully so. But when you look at the practical effects in Sam Raimi's The Evil Dead, it's more of a slapstick comedy style um, practical effect, but it's still effective and it still looks fantastic to this day. I just don't believe, and I can't believe that people aren't talking about the practical effects as much as they should be for The Evil Dead because it's hands down some of the best practical effects I've ever seen. Never mind seeing practical effects from 1981. It's astounding. I will admit though, when I did watch the film again for this review, I found it to be a very silly movie. It is a silly movie at the end of the day. I don't know how I would have felt about it back in the day. I think it was supposed to scare people back in the day. After all, it was banned in some countries. So I think it was supposed to be a scary movie. They were supposed to take it seriously. But when you watch it today, unfortunately I can't take it seriously. It doesn't mean it's a bad film, I just can't take the film seriously. It was perfectly made, but it's just a silly movie at the end of the day. I think the good thing about this one is the Evil Dead whole franchise, including the TV show, is known for its comedy value as well, whereas the original one didn't have any comedy moments in it. And if they did, I obviously missed that, but it's more of a pure horror movie as opposed to being a horror comedy like the rest of them moving forward. Overall guys, although this movie hasn't aged well, it's still got some very scary moments in it, like the laughing of the demons, the demons themselves, the voices of the demons, even the reading of that Necronomicon on the, the audio device. I think those scenes are still scary to this day, and if you used scenes like that in new movies, I think they would pay off. But apart from those scary moments, I still think it's quite a silly movie, but still a good movie. So please don't hate me, it's just an opinion guys. I still really like the movie. I do like the franchise as a whole, but this is just what I think of the first movie so far. Anyway guys, what are your thoughts on The Evil Dead, the first movie in the franchise? Leave your comments down below, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.